Hello everyone. It's James again. And today I wanted to make a short yet important video. And it's an important topic. Because oftentimes we see and hear about narcissists swindling and manipulating decent people that are caring and loving. And they do just that all of the time. But what I think a great many people forget is just like in the wild two apex predators can cross paths and team up with one another. Or they can take each other on. With only one of them walking away. And in the world of narcissism. When you see the teaming up. You often will see a smarter more cunning type. Such as a female narcissist. That will marry and team up with a male narcissist. So they can get the male narcissist to act in such a way. That if the heat comes down on them. She can step back and let the male narcissist take that heat. But sometimes. Sometimes. These two evil toxic types can take one another out of the game of their evil. Simply because they didn't really know who they were dealing with. And their narcissism got. The better of them. And they thought they could just manipulate their way out of things like they always have. Well this news story goes over that and much more in a really horrific way. And I will include a link of the news story in the description box below. I have to warn you even though it's on the news. It's kind of disturbing. So if that isn't for you. Just move along and catch my next video. But if you want to see what happens when the psychopath meets a narcissist. Then this shows the evil and brutal realities. And I think it shows something else too. You see. We live in this Instagram. Only fans. You have to have a Lamborghini to be seen as cool and as a high value man. So much so both women and men are ruining their lives in the pursuit to get what they think they should have. Based on what society tells them they should have. And something I want to talk about more is. It's time decent people start seeking each other out and leaving this foolishness of how much you have or don't have behind. We live in a very hard world. And things are messed up for most people. And if you actually partner up with someone that you love and that loves you. And you both are working hard at life. It doesn't matter if that person or that person is paying 100% or 50-50. Because I will tell you. As a man. Yes. Majority of men would love to pay all of the bills and take care of 100% of everything for himself and the woman he's with. But sadly in this evil screwed up economy. For most people it's not possible. And you have podcast after podcast. Talking about a man doesn't deserve respect unless he can do these things. And if he gets cheated on he must not have been providing enough. Then when Tom Brady gets cheated on. And other men like him. That kind of blows that thought process out of the water. So then you have narcissist scam artist men. Selling a dream. Like this guy right here. Aaron Chavez. Of Las Vegas. Well. It appears that Aaron was a flashy businessman. Or what would be deemed as high value by a lot of these podcasts. Only one problem. Aaron allegedly got all of his money through being a scam artist. And it likely cost him his life. There were what appeared to be decent people that wanted to level up or so called level up. And invest in his protein cookie business. Only to just take all of their money and never call them back. Allegedly. Well things seemed to be going great for Aaron. He was riding in a Lamborghini likely dating tons of women that thought he was so called high value. Then Aaron came across a problem. And that problem's name would be Gino Julian. Now if you search this guy. And I can't swear the other pictures are of him but I'm about 99% sure. You be the judge. They are LinkedIn profiles. And if they are one and the same person. He had normal everyday jobs. I guess one could say. But one of the jobs makes sense why he would want to get involved with Aaron and his protein cookies. Well. Here's a big big problem. Julian and another man named Stefan didn't take too kindly to being ripped off. So he and the Stefan guy texted back and forth about breaking Aaron's face and chlorine and bleach. And they even texted Aaron. And Aaron said if you touch me I will sue. Julian replied. 
dead men can't sue. Well, the last that Aaron was seen alive is with Julian at what appears to be Aaron's home. On camera slapping him telling him. He wants his money. Then later he has a wrapped up tarp in the Las Vegas desert. With Aaron's non-living body in the tarp. As Julian happily talks in the camera saying how this is street justice. As he lies the tarp on fire after pouring gasoline all over it. Julian then gets his car stuck in the sand. He can't move anywhere. So he goes to sleep. And the police find him there sleeping in his car. Next to Aaron's non-living body in a burned up tarp. You see. You have people out there chasing this empty lifestyle. And the reason why women are finding themselves meeting lots of narcissist men. Is because society has dictated what is acceptable. And what is not. There are literally videos with millions of views and comments showing signs of approval. Stating taking a woman to the Cheesecake Factory isn't considered an okay place to take a woman for a first date. Or meeting up for coffee is considered cheap. So guess who's going to rise to the top? That's right. The narcissists. You see there are few people in the world that can live like this. Driving around in a blue Lamborghini spending money like it doesn't mean anything. And yes. It's a nice car. I can't lie. And most guys would love to have one. But most guys know. No matter how hard they work. They most likely won't get there. And even if they do. Is having a blue Lamborghini the most important thing? Because most people men and women when they get there honestly. Realize that setting themselves up for early retirement is more important than blowing their money on thousand dollar dinners. And flashing all of their wealth. But when you have the market saying. If you want to be successful with women. This is what you have to have. A lot of men are going to step backwards or to the side. And guess who's going to step forward? Guys like this. Guys that don't have a problem defrauding others out of their money. And guys like this can do exactly that. Because they don't feel bad. It doesn't bother them. So when you set the material bar so high that majority of men are unable to reach it. You are going to have tons of Ponzi scheme scam artists moving to the front of the line. And there are men and women that are getting busted every day for getting fake business loans when the cough cough situation happened a few years back. Because they only got these loans to buy flashy cars and show off. With no intentions for using them for what they were supposed to be used for. But besides the legal trouble these narcissists find themselves in. They sometimes have no idea they are dealing with a psychopath. That isn't afraid to physically hurt someone. Or even take their life. And the way this guy did what he did. He seemed so calm and cool about it all. He didn't seem out of his element or scared to do what he did. Allegedly. Allegedly. And it's hard to say allegedly because the guy is on tape. But he will have his day in court. But this shows the level of how the narcissist thinks they can just talk their way out of everything they do. That is until they can't anymore. Most of the time. They end up getting taken down by the system. But every now and again. They meet someone a bit higher up on their food chain. Yes. Most narcissists can become psychopathic. But I have a strange feeling. This Julian guy was likely born a psychopath. Along with having a very screwed up background. I'm just guessing. But that's just how it looks from the outside looking in. But what do I know? I'm just a cartoon. But that's all I have for today. If you haven't subscribed please do. And if you can share. I would deeply appreciate it. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.